Bring in the instrumental rasta. What uh, went wrong for you when you didn't get the offer from the NBA that you wanted, even though you were great with Memphis last year? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's just something that's just part of my journey. And, and uh, I guess it was a crazy summer, as everybody's seen with free agencies and so many free agents. So that could have played a part in it. But um, it just came down to I wanted to come to the Euro League and not wait any longer. I could have waited longer and see what happens, but I wanted to come over here. You missed the World Cup this summer. Can you tell us what happened and you missed it? Um, like I said, what I just said is I didn't know. I didn't know what was going on. Well, I wanted to pick a team, have a team before I did anything. And um, unfortunately, it was bad timing and I didn't have a team in the when I needed to be in Greece, but I was still pursuing trying to be in the NBA and participating. If a team needed to come see me, talk to me, I wanted to be available. And that just, it was just bad timing with everything. It's your first EuroLeague experience. How does it feel so far? Um, it's been, it's been up and down, um, personally for me. Uh, but um, it's just, it's getting better. I'm learning every day and it's getting better slowly. And um, you know, as a team, we're getting better. How different is the game here in Europe? Uh, I would say it's very different. It's way, way um, more, I think, a slower pace. And obviously, you can stay, players can stay in the paint, you know. So driving lanes and defensively, it's harder. It's harder to score here, you know. It's way harder to score here, I would say. What was the key factor that convinced you to sign with Maccabi? Kind of like it came out of nowhere, you know. Uh, the opportunity and to play for a good club, a great opportunity to um, come here and come with a, a kind of half, half new team with the new players and also the players that's returned. And it just came down to having a, a, a good opportunity and chance and also knowing coach and that was, that's what it really came down to. Uh, your coach is Jan Sferopoulos. How is it like working with uh, with him? He's been well. Um, obviously, it's still my first year. He's still fully getting to know my game and getting to know his philosophy and his style. He's been doing it for years, so it's me more adjusting to what he likes and what he likes to do in his philosophy, game in and game out. And um, I'm still learning, still, still a process, still early in the season to grasp everything, but it's coming along. Would you consider play for a great team in the future? Um, uh, I go year by year, but uh, if that comes up, um, it comes up. I'm not. I'm not sure, but I would. I would not. Not say I wouldn't. And, but obviously, whatever comes up in my years of when I'm out of a contract or whenever I'm a free agent, that's when I would decide. There were some rumors about you and the Olympiacos in the past few summers. Did you talk with the team? I didn't talk to the team as much, not this summer, didn't. I think um, I was so late in the process, they already had the team and their whole roster full, so they didn't really come up this summer because I was really focused on staying in the NBA, but then that closed and I looked over here in the Euro League, and that wasn't the option um, that came up, so. Unfortunately, they already had a full roster. Many of the fans uh, want to see you again with the national team's jersey. Uh, will this happen this summer? No, I'm, I want to be here and uh, I won't have any difficulties of having to know where I'm going to be next year. But I never know, but I want to be there for the Olympics and I definitely want to play.